Hello, my name is Christian Mosch and I'm with the VDMA. For those people who don't know the VDMA, the VDMA is the Europe's largest industry association. Over 3,200 companies are member of the VDMA and we represent the mechanical engineering industry. We represent over 51 branches and in context of OPC UA companion specifications, we are developing in over 11 branches actively the OPC UA companion specifications. These branches are in detail the compressors and compressed airs, the food processing machines, the integrated assembly solutions, the machine tools and manufacturing systems, the machine vision, the measuring and testing technology, the plastics and rubber machinery, the power transmission engineering, the pumps and systems, the robotics, and the robotics and automa automation. The view of these branches and the manufacturers on OPC UA is that OPC UA is a communication architecture. It's not only a protocol, it's an architecture. And this is very important for the manufacturers. Um, because of the protocol independence, they have a security of invest because uh, protocols may change, but the technology and the description of the products and its properties will be still alive. Because of this, OPC UA is favored by the VDMA because um, the, mechanic, the companies of the mechanical engineering industry favor this standard and also in the German platform Industry 4.0 OPC UA is favored. The development in the VDMA on the um, um, working level are the, the development of the companion specifications. The basic work for the VDMA is the development of OPC UA companion specifications. Companion specifications describe the products and its features, so that means the terms and contents of the products of the mechanical engineering industry. And um, so by this, the industry know-how is very important for the development of OPC UA companion specifications. So they have to describe by the manufacturers itself, but they are orchestrated by the VDMA. OPC UA has two views of possibility for the communication in the industrial environment. One view is the communication view. On the communication view, several communication technologies exist. For instance, there is a client server architecture, that means that um, the information access between the client and the server are realized over a fixed connection. For example, a client could be a manufacturing execution system and the server could be uh, injection molding machines. On the other hand, there's a possibility of um, publisher and subscriber architecture. That means that the publisher sends um, the information to an unknown subscriber without a fixed connection. Um, for instance, there could be one publisher, an injection molding machine, and the subscriber could be a robot. There's a possibility to realize several use cases um, with the PubSub architecture. Um, one use case could be the plug and work use case. That means that uh, one sensor, for example, published the information which could be used by different systems like the robots or the injection molding machines. Or there's the use case of condition monitoring. That means that many sensors of one machine can publish the information into the cloud and can be used for condition monitoring systems. The second view of OPC UA is the information view. On the information view are the companion specifications of OPC UA. The OPC UA companion specifications are an active part of the administration shell of the industry for zero components. OPC UA companion specifications are one open standard for the manufacturing industry, but they are described in a manufacturer independent way in the environment of the VDMA and they are developed in the VDMA. The benefit of OPC UA company specification is that companies can integrate its products in the industrial environment in a flexible way. In the VDMA we see different levels of details of OPC UA companion specifications. We make a difference between the type A level, the type B level and the type C level. On the type A level we are describing the whole mechanical engineering industry with its properties. 
vendor name, for example, is a property which each company in the in mechanical engineering environment has to describe. But there are also more detailed ways to describe the properties of products, for example, or applications. Products which have to be described in OPC or A companion specifications are, for example, the uh, injection molding machines, the robots, the machine vision, or the integrated assembly solutions. On the application level, on the type C level, we describe the, the applications in a detailed way. For example, the communication between injection molding machines and the manufacturing execution systems, or the injection molding machines and the robots. In the VDMA, we have a defined process for the development of OPC UA companion specifications. We have four defined development steps. The first step is the planning, the second step is the conception, the third step is the design, and the fourth step is the completion. In the first step, in the planning, we are describing the scope of OPC UA companion specifications. In the second step, we are describing and developing the use cases in detail and we are uh, concepting the modeling approach and looking for existing specifications uh, which could influence the um, companion specifications which is now developed. In the design step we are modeling the information model in the first rough way and second in a detailed way. In the fourth step, the completion step, we describe the information model in the OPC UA notation and the formal description is the VDMA specification of the 40,000 series. We publish the OPC UA companion specification in form of the VDMA specification and we have a number block. The number block is 40,000 so every VDMA specification out of the 40,000 series can be understood as an OPC UA companion specification out of the mechanical engineering industry. So the VDMA spec stands for the OPC UA companion specifications. The manufacturing independent description of the standard. VDMA spec is developed in accordance with the rules of the VDMA and the OPC foundation and the, available, the availability of um, the VDMA specification for the entire industry. The benefit for the manufacturers is that uh, plug-in work can be possible and um, ensures a quick assembly of machines and the organization of plants and the Im efficiency improvement by the independent condition monitoring and the predictive maintenance of companies can be ensured. The VDMA published a guideline for Industry 4.0 communication with OPC UA. We favor the development of OPC UA companion specifications. Um, the guideline is designed especially for small and medium sized enterprises of the mechanical engineering industry. And the content which is described in this guideline is um, why should manufacturers implement OPC UA? It gives a migration path. How manufacturers should implement OPC UA into the industrial environment and it gives a guideline which shows the step that companies must take to ensure the interoperability in the industrial environment. The guideline is available in German as well as in English and can be downloaded on the VDMA website. If you have any further questions or you would like to develop OPC UA companion specification for your branch please don't hesitate to contact me.